We're live. Hi, YouTubers. Dragon kill. Hopefully not. Rawr. Um. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, let's see here. Ah, looks like this morning. All right, cool. Um, this morning you had a small breakfast at the inn. Uh, left to head to Smiley's Goods to buy something for uh, Nibira's granddaughter, who has an upcoming birthday and is distraught about the death of her grandmother. Smiley, the mimic, was able to help y'all out. Uh, sold some stuff, bought some stuff, including a doll from Neverwinter for the child. Uh, you made a visit over there, talked with uh, her son, gave him the fishing rod with the magical, magical hook that was a family heirloom, and he offered to pay for it, and y'all said no. Uh, Claudette left um, crossing the road to the house that Palmer indicated it was his sister's house, uh, slid some gold into their mail collection box, and headed back to the Palmers. Uh, the rest of y'all were coming out of the house, and you decided to go to the town hall and see if any work was available. Uh, there were some odd jobs on the board, one of which was an expedition going out to map of the Ragged Glacier area. Y'all went to back to Smiley's again to buy some torches and cartography tools and headed out of East Haven in preparation uh, to go to Bryn Chander and join on this expedition. About halfway to Bryn Chander, he stumbled upon a lone berserker leaning against a rock admiring its goddess's aurora as it slowly fell away to sunrise. Illican called out to the guy at which point the guy grabbed his weapon menacingly and lifted his foot as if to run towards y'all and instead y'all got to him and killed him before he was able to. Um, looking at this uh, frostbitten berserker um, and the weapons that he had Illican realized that uh, the one that he had picked up was the same type, dropped it on the body walking away. Claudette decided to see what else he had available, um, aside from the typical fare that these guys usually have on them, um, shardling javelins and flails and amulets and other shardling crap. Um, she found a stone ring, which did not look the same as everything else. Uh, Celestine determined that the ring had a strong aura of transmutation, as well as conjuration magics within. And as she mentioned this, Illican headed over to the body to remove the stone ring and try and figure out what it did. As he brushed his flesh over the head of the ring, it teleported everyone, dead or alive, to the cave of the bear clan of the nomadic rigged tribes. Unsure of where you were, y'all cautiously, cautiously head up the causeway to a cave marked by the gaping wide jaw of a bear that looked somewhat like that. Y'all slowly entered the cave and headed east into an area with a 20-foot ceiling and a couple of cages to the north. A smaller tunnel headed south towards a small den with a hole in the ground. Illican asked if Claudette would sneak down and see if she could garner any information from that area. She climbed the wall and walked sideways down the tunnel as she peeked around a corner. A young white dragon roared loudly, looking her directly in the eye. And now you're in the middle of a fight. And we pick it up at the top of the round with uh, Solstein.
And of course, my mic was muted the whole time. Uh, of course. Because that's just the way things work. Okay, I'm going to raise my, my sphere. And a bright light will flash from it. Healing everyone in the party for eight points. Thank you. Thank you. Um... My... What's it called? Chalice. Well, I will use my chalice to also heal myself. Because... I'm hurting. Ah, oh, seriously. I heal other people and I almost always get double digits. With me, I get the minimum. And then as a bonus action... go ahead and use a um, healing word oh, come on Cast that third level on myself. That's another twelve. Um Can I do that, Sky? Yeah, you got 35, then, yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna be a four more. <laughs> um. I guess I'm done. Alright, Bill Kenny, you're up. I wish I could do two things, but I can't. I was getting something. Okay, I'm just seeing if that's a...
one in front of me. Uh, the first two hit. And I did say I was making friendly fire, or a friend, or my, you know, favorite foe last week, right? Yes, that is marked on this guy, yes. I just want to make sure. That's all I can do. Does he look bloody at all? Oh yeah, it definitely looks bloody. Well, yeah. Drake is dead. dead. Well, Drake died last round when he got breathed by fire on. Breathed by ice. Yeah, it's cold breath. Cold breath. He froze to death. Fire Fire Drake didn't like didn't like uh the cold. Alright, quite it. your turn. We'll try our main hand. Uh, that'll hit. I don't think I get the sneak, do I? Yeah. You have oh, a little right. next it's to you. Sorry, I'm beside the beast, which you're beside, so yeah. Okay, gonna try the offhand. And that will hit. And that will be the end of my turn. Nowhere, you're up. Okay. Um. I'm going to Fire this longbow of warning. Uh, who are you attacking? This guy down here. Okay. Uh, that'll hit. Won't hit the other one, though, right? Exactly. Sorry, what? I'm just being smart ass. Ignore me. Oh. <laughs> For me, yesterday when you shot the one and it, it was so powerful to hit that I said, yeah, would it go through and hit the guy behind him? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to increase this. Oh. Grasping arrow and sear are already checked. I didn't realize that, but and it's cause you use both of them once this combat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it already has grasping arrow on it. Okay. Well I'll just leave it there. So you're gonna use your second arcane shot on him? 
I am. All right. Somehow I expected more, but <laughs> you always do. <laughs> give yeah, it, well. give it time. You, we got to grow up a little bit before we get those big, big numbers. <clears throat> yeah. It's a big difference from going from nine, level 19 yesterday to level 5 today. Yeah, I suppose. Alright, uh... Trying to make sure and get everything straight here. And I still have the action surge. You still have a second attack, level five. Yes, I know that. But I just wanted everything was max, so I just wondered if maybe something strange happened. Okay. Let's do I that. I believe we just finished a long rest before we came in here. You finished a long rest, then you fought the Berserker, and then you took its ring. And as you were taking its ring and trying to identify it, it teleported you here. Okay, so you should have should have started with just about everything. Okay. Except that you've used both your arcane shots. All right. Well, I'm gonna fire. Longbow of Warning again. And I'm guessing that hits. That does. So 15 more. You like that quote. Yeah. It roars out in pain as it falls to the ground. I like that too. <laughs> yeah. With that, I'm going to uh, call that the end of my turn. Okay. You should run away from the bad guy. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I mean, you are a fighter, but you're supposed to be a ranged fighter. I suppose I'll allow it since I haven't switched the turn order yet. I moved down there. <laughs> Damn, if that was my criteria for allowing <laughs> right. retcons, <laughs> there'd be stuff you'd be able to do for three turns back sometimes. <laughs> I... yeah, anyway. Okay, that's the end of my turn. I hope this isn't the start of pick on me day. <laughs> It's always pick on you day. Why would it be pick on you day? We haven't done anything to pick on you yet. That's, That's why. That's why it's pick on him day is because we haven't done anything yet. We've already picked on Illican and his girl, which is why he was late. Has anyone noticed he, ha he hasn't actually denied it at this right. point? I give up trying to get involved with these things because I always end up on a losing end. So. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, the guy that used to say I get no respect, no respect. 
Rodney Dangerfield. Oi. Reek what you sew with him. And nowhere it's always pick on you, Day. I just pick on you in spurts. You say you're spurting? Yes, and not squirting. Oh. Wow. Hey. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of noises coming out of this uh, <laughs> headset now. Can we continue, please? Jeff, I think you're 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 blushing more than anybody. I don't know what I like better: picking on nowhere or making white blush. White blush because he gets the high octane voice when he does it. I can't threaten Claudette with anything other than not healing her. But remember, Illican. I DM you in two other games. Better be nice. <laughs> All right, Arden and Nowhere. Uh, I need DC fifteen Constitution saving throw. So Arden takes 14 points of cold damage with his cold resistance, and Nowhere takes 7 points of cold damage with his cold resistance. I thought you said you needed 15. You got an 18. Okay. And I'm cold resistant. Yeah, so you pass, so you get half, which is 14. And then you're resistant, which means it's half, which it means it's 7. Oh, okay. So you're taking a quarter of the damage that I rolled. Okay, that's... I understand. I was just looking at this, and I was, had 14 stuck in my head. And I say, you know, half the 14 is 7, and then half of that is 3. Gotcha. Yeah, he only took 14 because he's also cult resistant, uh, even though he failed the save. So instead mm -hmm. of taking 28, he took 14. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but that is the end of its turn. And Arden, you're up. I'm going to attack this one right here. Don't forget, Arden has advantage on his first on his attack. His first attack. Yeah. And I'm gonna use the bow of fear. And marking his favorite foe. And my colossal slayer. Okay. Um. Unfortunately, a 12 does not hit. I thought he got advantage on that one. So when he yes, he does. It's 17, so it hits. So it does hit? My, my attention span is horrible. Uh, yes, it hits. 17 barely hits. That's alright. <laughs> it's like hanger needs him. So, just <laughs> And then I'm going to do my second attack. Use my bow. 
18 hit. Yes. Does anybody remember if Drake uh, got killed today or was yesterday that he got killed as well? Today. I know he only got killed once today, but I mean if he'd been killed twice. Just today as far as I remember. I don't think he died he's, yesterday. He's, he's gotten killed once since your long rest. That's what I want to make sure of. I'm I'm all done except for I'm gonna move back to here. And that will finish my turn. Senior. Hey. Unmuted. Good. Good. I will run up here. Use another four charges on my spear. Heal everyone again for eight. And thank you, Solstein. I appreciate that. Yes, thank you, dude. Uh-huh. My goodness. Oh, I'm ready to fight. Okay, um... Chalice... will hit... nowhere... 411. Thank you again. And let's see, bonus action. What can I do as a bonus action? I don't think I have anything to do with a bonus action at the moment. Oh, well, I guess I can grab a bead off my necklace.
we'll drop that there. And that is... Mm. Oops. Yes, that. Doesn't actually do any damage until start of its turn, though. <coughs> end of its turn, I think. Ends its turn there, yeah. So anybody who ends up in that little round spot will get hurt, right? Yeah, anyone who okay. ends their turn in that aura. You should be able to see the red aura now. So, if you end your turn in that aura, you have to do a saving throw against the damage. Thanks. Can you put Drake back in the uh, bath now? He's right there, I just can't get him over there. That's as far as he can go. Wait a minute, so I gotta check that back again before I do that. What are you checking? Seeing if I can actually do that, and I couldn't. It'll be one second before that becomes a reality. That's still touching him, right? Yep.
I'm trying to uh, cast Zephyr Strike on my character, but I, it's not letting me do it, so. And 18 hits. It wanted to get its pound of flesh. <laughs> That's all I can do, guys. So I'm, I'm done. You could move. I could, but I wouldn't get anywhere compared to where I want to go because I can't attack him, and then I'd be in his breath play. Yes, but if he moves towards us, it's an attackable opportunity. You know, your movement does increase by 30 feet until the end of this turn, right? Uh, no, casting that is only if I hit once I hit it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Originally. Okay. is looking at Illican and shaking her head going he's got to be cursed <laughs> there's no way he's backing away from a fight now that's five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty but it's still not close enough to hit him so I'm gonna use my bonus action to do whatever it is I can do I'll wink it Dash. Yeah, dash. My cunning action. Go there, go there. Yeah, I know, I'm probably standing on the rock. And I will hit at it. You got spider climb, you're good. Yep. Oh, main hand. That will hit. Okay. That was only 10 points of movement, so I'm going to walk along this wall here and go to this side of him. With Drake. Okay. And that'll be the end of my turn since I can't do my. Okay. And I'm going to telepathically, before the end of my turn, say to... No, I can't. She's not 30 feet away. Never mind. Can't say it. Okay. Nowhere is your turn. Alright. Uh, I'm going to fire my longbow of warning. That'll hit. Oh, that was poor. That everything helps, right? Every little bit helps. And I'm going to take a second shot. You just got a killing blow. You're good. And that one hits as well.
and 12. Yeah, I'm gonna move back here. Didn't like being breathed on. <laughs> well, not particularly, but also I I don't like being in front when I'm a ranged character because the, the uh, enemies tends to like to treat me like a pincushion. <laughs> okay, and that's the end of my turn. Going to claw against Claudette. Yeah, that'll hit. Serves me right for wondering if it had pockets. <laughs> uh, just a second. That. Let me double check the range on the spell before I say it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna cast Silvery Barbs on the dragon. It's the second time that this has happened, this <laughs> BS. Sorry. Hey, it I, saved somebody yesterday and the day before for me, so... I don't like crits on my allies. Um, no, I mean the the crit to a nat one. This is the second time that that's happened in this game. Um, not that it, not that Celestine used the spell. The spell's available. Um, not that it missed. Not that it didn't get another crit, but rather that it went from a crit to a nat one. Yeah, I, I did notice that. Um, I will give the advantage to Arden. The eight doesn't yet. <laughs> Even if it was a twenty four, it wouldn't hit because it's a net one. All right. Um. doesn't know what the hell this light is, so it will end its turn if you want to roll its, uh, roll that light. So, yeah, sure. Or you just want to keep the eight from before, or... I mean, chances are pretty good he's going to succeed on the dexterity saving throw, but... It's worth a shot. Have to reload just a second.
Welcome back. Oh, sorry, it has an actual save, so plus three. Twelve. Well, that does not succeed. Yay, so you take nine points of damage. Did you happen to notice that your uh, round break Incremented by only one? It did, yes. <clears throat> this is my turn. It is your turn. Oh, okay. You have advantage on your first attack, Arden. Alright, I'm going to attack that guy. No. With my bow. An 18 will hit. That's a second time that that advantage has helped you hit your first attack. Yeah, I know. Just telling. Yeah. Just saying. That's fantastic. Uh, how, what's this guy look like? Not great, but not horrible. Uh, <laughs> definitely bloodied. Man. I'm gonna do my second attack. And I'm gonna hit him with the Hail of Thorns. Uh, the 11 does not hit. Are you sure you want to do that with all the people around him? There ain't nobody around him. I can't see anybody around him. Okay. Oh, that's all right. I missed anyway, so. Oh, um. <laughs> and that finishes my turn. All right, Celestine, you're up. Okay, I will reach forward with my spear. And Heal Arden. See, I'll use uh, two charges. So it's a total of eleven healing. Thank you again, sister. Um. And I'll go ahead and hit him with Chalice as well. Might as well. So it's a total of... Um, 17 healing total. Okay. And then, as a bonus action, I'm going to... Um, slam the Radiant Star into this dragon. Which makes him have to do a saving throw again. Which fails, so it does whop in two points of damage. Er, well. He succeeds. I failed. Yeah, you did. But hey, two damage is better than no damage. 
He's sure. already dead, though, isn't he? No, this guy. I forget about this stuff. But I can't see that. Okay. Um. That being said, I am going to. Uh, I'll stay where I am as much as I hate the idea. Okay, okay. you're up. Twenty will hit. Is there a reason you're not running all the way up to him? Because I had to hit him and I couldn't. I couldn't get. Thir I'm at thirty and I can't get that extra five. So that's why I was saying it says once per once per turn I'm able to use a bonus. If you're saying I can get farther, I will, but I just, I thought I could. It's at 30. Huh, I'm only counting 20 high. Because you're cutting the rock out. You're going right through the rock. Oh, I see. Okay. And so... Alright, so anyways. I was, using, I was using my, the action, the save spot on that first one. Because I wouldn't have known that the first one misses until after. Or do I? When do I Sorry, what? Move? What are you saying? Zypher Strike. You, oh no, it says you can give yourself an advantage on one of your attack goals. On your turn. So I'll take the second one as an advantage. What do you say to that? Go for it. You're really enjoying those nat ones tonight, aren't you? Well, not really, because uh, I'm not going to pretend that I had already put a uh, favorite foe on there, because I didn't think about it, so I did not do that. So those nat ones don't count, I will be honest. My next turn I will be using, but I forgot about my favorite foe. Did you add the additional D8 from the Zephyr Shrimp? Not yet, that's what I'm rolling now. And I'm taking back my spill slap because I already. Twenty points of damage. So the way I count it. And on that last one, while well, I'm right here. 23. Didn't you use that on Claudette's turn? My turn again. Yeah, it's his turn. Oh. 
and then he bit. And he misses with the bite. He tried, but he failed. Try the main hand. That'll hit. Thank you, Drake, for being up here with me. And going to work on the offhand. That will definitely hit. Hey, Celestine, I need a silvery barbs, please. <laughs> Not against me. <laughs> oh, I was actually gonna roll it. Not dead, that'll be the end of my turn. Like no Wasn't it hit with the uh, scimitar of wounding the last round? Yes, and it made its uh, constitution saving throw, I think. No, actually, no. She missed on the con save last time, right? Yeah, because I, I know that she, it was around. his turn, but he never rolled for the extra damage, I don't think. Oh, uh, the 1d4. No, she took her bonus uh, action to dash yep, last time, so she didn't. Hand. Gotcha, okay. Alright, uh, that's why I was... It just popped my head. Uh, nowhere. Your turn. Alright, uh... How badly damaged is this uh, creature? It looks like it's hurting. Okay. Well, I'm going to fire my longbow of warning. That's this one. There's 19 hit. 19 hits. Okay, it's 11 points of damage, and another shot. That definitely misses, it's got to miss. Oh uh, yes, it hits. Yeah, and 10 more points, so. Claudette and Drake. Roll me a dexterity saving throw. Of you take four points of damage, but stay standing up. As the dragon falls to the ground in a clump. What was the damage Alrighty. for? He, he fell on top of us. Uh, force damage that, uh, as it fell, uh, 
ten feet down and slam down. Okay, I got it. Okay, I will right. re release my spell because I don't want to hurt people. And again, I, I want to. Uh, Elk gonna walk over and you know pray over the body and say, "Be safe, brother. Have a wonderful afterlife." I Aww. wanna skin him. I wanna investigate this section because I wanna know if there's anything of value in here. You can skin him, he's good with that because the white dragon's the one that tried attacking us in the boat. <sighs> he's been prayed over. He's his spirit's gone. Body's just a body. Oh, just a second, I gotta uh, find this are... stuff. Give me the white lid. Give me that. Yeah, you can deal with with Claudette I'll first. I'll put that uh, search when she gets back. Or when you get back. I'm not leaving, I'm just... I gotta find stuff because I had to restart and I had everything open already. Oh, okay, okay. Well, then I just... I thought you said you had to go potty. No, no, I just, I, I open all my windows before the game, and since it decided to uh, pause on me and make me restart the game, it got rid of all my windows. <clears throat> Alright, uh, Claudette... Um, roll me an investigation. Oh shit, really? Not again. <clears throat> Frickin' thing... Frickin' roll 20 quit on me again. <laughs> Looks at Kai as a helper, uh... Searching. Hmm. How long does bless last for? One minute. Like a minute. One minute, and I don't know if it's even been a minute yet. Hmm. Well, basically, it's for combat. So you you would no longer be none of you. Be blessed any longer. And Claudette, because you grumbled when, you know, I walked over to the side of the wall. Elkin's looking at you. It's because dragon can spray fire if you get anybody close together. If you get stuck in Ice. the hallway. It's twice as nice. Yeah, so I, I, I did not want to be stuck in the hallway and somebody be beside me to cause the dragon to move to attack more of us. <laughs> I think she wondered that. I don't know that she vo vocalized that. If she didn't, then my character doesn't say anything, but if she at least... I vocalized you know, it. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's because why I'm, we're I suspecting he might be cursed. I knew dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of breath. That's all that matters. <laughs> Incidentally, to those doubters who will remain nameless, that insisted above his head, <clears throat> we insisted that just because we we're facing off against two dragons, we were dead. It was a TPK. We were gonna all die. 
You need to start having faith in your healer. I have complete faith in the healer. Except for every time we come up against any kind of real challenge. Oh, oh. we're all gonna die. Okay, you have not figured out my gameplay yet? No, that just shows absolutely no faith in your healer. That's all I'm saying. You keep me alive, more than likely I'll keep you alive. You hide behind a rock and allow the uh, dragon to get to her. She might not. <laughs> uh, we kill the dragons. Does that mean that uh, we level up? No, why would you level up? Because I was hoping. <laughs> I want to ride my dragon. With no handlebars? With no handlebars? I don't need a handlebar for my dragon. I can ride my bike with no handlebars. No handlebars. <laughs> I'm doing the Indian thing, you know? <sighs> I didn't know you were from India. Wait, was it actually a guy that you were with and you were doing it Brokeback Mountain style? Oh, that's oh. bad. Oh, oh man. <clears throat> yeah. Welcome, YouTubers. Your parents might want to put some parental controls on this channel. <laughs> and it's PG thirteen. I mean, thirteen years old. Thirteen year olds have gone through sex ed, right? All good. <laughs> yeah. That is what you find in the little pile over there. Hey, look at the parchment. It looks wow. interesting. Okay, so... 96 silver and 331 copper. Again, how many copper is the gold? How many copper and a gold? 100. 100? Okay. How many silver and a gold? 10. 10 copper and a silver, 10 silver and a gold. But there is no gold here. Okay, so I'm going to give one, two gold to each of the party members. That will cover the 96 silver pieces. Thank you. Thank you. And I guess I'll just take the 331 copper and divide it by four. And give you guys 82 copper a piece. Thanks again. Okay. You said 82? Yes, 82 copper a piece. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so... Do I think that the thieves' tools are a good set? They're a are set. They better than mine? No, they're just another set. Okay, we'll just 
tuck them away for later. Although, I really can't carry anything else. Seriously? You're, you're that close to your limit? I don't think I need a thousand ball bearings. <laughs> you have a thousand ball bearings? Yeah, but I don't think it's affecting my weight either. Yeah, a, ro a, ro a rogue starts with a, a satchel of, with a thousand ball bearings in it. Oh, so she can make traps. At night, gotcha. Traps or throw them out and try to trip people and all that fun stuff. When I look at the rolled up parchment, do I see anything? <clears throat> Yes, you do. <laughs> letters. Weird do I letters. Understand the letters? No, you don't. Point it out to the rest of the party and ask if anybody can read it. Yeah, usually the only way I can get any chat is giving my finger to see. Anybody with Arcana can read it. <laughs> Proficient in Arcana. Um. Okay, I guess that means I can. I can read it. There is a check mark between uh, before I can on mine. Okay. Yeah, that means you're proficient. Um, it is a scroll of knock. Hmm. Knock, knock, who's there? Is the four foot chest locked? It is not. What's a scroll of knock? Uh, if you look up knock in the compendium, it should tell you what the spell does. It's, okay. a, it's essentially a way to pick locks using magic instead of thief tools. Before we open the chest, is there any traps on the chest? Um. Hmm. Give me an investigation check with, or actually, you know, give me a thieves' tools check. Uh, dexterity is fine. Doesn't look to be. Can anybody learn this skill as a trade? I mean, as a permanent. You mean the scroll? Yeah. I can. He hands it to you. Okay, I'm going to ask everybody to back up a little bit. And I'm going to try to open the chest. <laughs> it opens. Yay, no explosion. Y'all can come back. And is it empty? It is. <laughs> That's got uh, an anticlimactic. Can I check for a false bottom? Uh, give me an investigation check. You cannot find a false bottom. Okie dokie. Um. Alright, scrapped, cracked spyglass. Don't really think that we can use that. We'll just put it in the uh, square chest. I'll well, keep the uh, cracked spyglass. Because I can fix that, right? Sure. Okay, 
Okay. Um, then I guess we'll start heading this way. Then there my break or when we take our break next, uh I'll repair the spy guy. Well, we're probably going to take a break sooner than you think because it's going to take me a while to skin these dragons. Okay, well, he's skinning dragons. I'm going to work on the uh, cracked spyglass to see if I can get it repaired. All right, hold up on that. Um, Because there is no way I'm leaving dragon scales without trying to take them with me as a leather worker. I look at you arrow users and go, don't you guys think maybe you should look for your arrows? Yeah, possibly so. Uh... Celestine, is there any way that I can help you with skinning? I don't know anything about it, but would I be help or hindrance? That's up to Sky. <laughs> you can try and help her. I would okay. be more than happy for the help. All do right, I have well. a recipe for dragon meat? <laughs> do you really? Oh. I'm asking. Oh. No clue. Uh, I, I'll I, I'll get to y'all later. Um, Celestine, uh, leather working tools check DC uh, fourteen How many? with advantage. Just one. Um. Yes, just one. But I need to see what the time frame is. Okay, it's either twenty-one or twenty-five, depending whether guidance counts. He said he said uh, advanced, so you gotta go. Like I said, it's either twenty-one or twenty-five, depending on whether guidance counts. Wow. I used up a lot of charges on my spear. It's the first time I've used up that many. Takes you. Are you skinning both of them? Yes. Uh, give me another leather working tools check. Yay. Alright, it'll take you eight hours to get both of them done and skinned. So, even if, even if we help? Um, her with help is advantage. So I guess we're taking a, a long rest here. Oh, you guys are taking a long rest here. No, Nowhere and I are <laughs> working, though. Yeah. Um, sometime during that, that eight hours, uh, I'd like to pause a couple minutes and go look for my arrows. I'm missing six. Go and give me an investigation check. Yeah, and I gotta go find Untapped. 
Uh, know where you find five. Thank you. And Arden, give me one as well. On the way. Whatever you're missing, you found. And you okay. found uh, Nowhere's one as well. And you found two for Illican as well. Okay, thank you. Okay. I will give give them their arrows. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be right back while we take a break. Uh, do I get to do a jewelry uh, case? Or Not jewelry? yet. Not yet. I'm still looking at stuff. I will ask you for a jewelry no, check when I get okay. there. That's okay. Celestine, mark down that you have 31 white scales dash magical. Okay. Not that she knows that they're magical, but yeah. So, so you know. White dragon scales specifically, or just white scales? Oh, white dragon scales, sure. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> what? Roll 20 crash on me again. Oh, God. Can give me a jewel crafting uh, check. What skill? Um, just one sec. Ah, damn, roll twenty. Um, sec. I'm back with a hiccuping fit. Yay. Those are fun. 
We need Sky to do it. But Good. Do What's that? I need you to say hello, YouTubers, in your Freddy Cougar voice. Scare. That wouldn't scare me. It just turned me on. <laughs> um. Dexterity for me, uh, Illican. We'll say over the course of an hour, you get to, you make it a non-cracked, whatever the hell it was. Spyglass. Spyglass. I'm going to give the spyglass to our resident chief for uh, time room. She may need it to see what we're getting into. Just totally out of character. A spyglass costs 4,000 gold. When purchased according to the PHP. So. I'll gladly take it and just put it in my bag then. And throw something else out. If you need help carrying stuff. Give, give it to it back Billiken. to me, I'll carry it, or, or whatever you don't want to carry, give to me. If you don't want the uh, thousand pounds of uh, ball bearings, he'll take the thousand pounds of ball bearings. He'll find a use for it. It's not pounds, it's just a thousand ball bearings. Or a thousand ball bearings. He'll find a use for it. I'm just curious how you're overloaded. How much everything weighs. She's probably overloaded because because she's got a lot of money. <laughs> okay, remember he. Okay, out of character. Remember you do have the uh, coin holder. Okay, so if I put all those in that, in the well, that only holds the gold coins. Okay, so we'll put them in there. See what happens. So what I did for mine is I put the one coin in the uh, gold, and then in my uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, inventory. I put the magic coin with how many coins I actually have. So it takes it off your red sky. That did not help. It helped a little bit. Um, you should give Illikin that ethereal spider spindle. Okay, we'll give that to him. Or maybe have him carry your rations or something. I'm giving you a phase spider ethereal spindle. Not that I even know what it is. You have five pounds of space spider venom, four pounds of wolf spider venom, 22 pounds of ration. How many rations do you have? Eleven. Okay, take, uh, take one and I'll carry the rest of them. I'll give you six. Okay. But after that, I'm good. How much do rations weigh? Two pounds each, apparently. If you 
go into the compendium and drag it over, it'll automatically add it to you, so you don't have to add it. Thank you. Okay, that's much better. You said how many am I, are you giving me? She said six. Thank you. For that bendle. That's 12 pounds. That one you're not going to find in the compendium, though. Ethereal spider spindle. Can you write that one just because I don't want to spell the... Thank you. Oh, I do mention to, uh, okay, would I, would I not? Well, I am a hunter. I have done the mining, so I wouldn't know about it because talking with rogues and everything else that were in the, uh, we're, we're slave and slave for, you know, miscellaneous. Are you yeah. saying this out loud? Okay, I my mic's open. Sorry, but I, I was seeing. Okay, would I know this? Or not? Yes, I would. Okay, uh, he looks over and asks if you've made any of the uh, poisons that you've spoke of previously. Not yet. When you do, I would love some. I just look at you confused, but shake my head, okay. That does sound like something someone that was cursed would say. I'm not the one hoarding all the gear on herself, so hey, come on now. Actually, you are. You just have a much uh, beefier person, so you 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 can hold more. All right, so anybody doing anything else during this uh, little eight hour of downtime? Uh, the rest of the time, uh, I'll take the first watch uh, after I'm done with my... Uh... Uh, spyglass and giving it to her. Right, go ahead and give me a perception check. 
Then I'll take the second watch. Where would I go to look at what poisons I can make with the materials I have? That is a great question. And, and then I hate to ask this on you, but can you make it right now? Because do you have the poisoner's uh, skill set? Yes, she's always yes. got poisoner's kit. Proficiency. Okay, I thought she had to learn that. No, that, that, that came with her class. It's not one she can unlearn. Though she has tried a couple times. <laughs> um... going to ask uh, Silstein while she's doing this who's carrying this this these these products because I'm still carrying the uh, carapace for you um Actually, I don't think you are carrying the carapace. Uh, got it on my thing, so yeah. Well, I've been using the floating disc to carry my stuff. Yeah, I thought that you only had so much weight on it, so that's why. Well, it it holds six hundred pounds. Okay, so if you're gonna if you're gonna put that on yours, I'll take mine off. Okay. Uh, it's one large carapace leather, 50 pounds. Okay, it's actually two large carapaces, and they're 50 pounds total. But that's okay. okay. And right now, they're actually in the vat, soaking in urine. They okay. have been for about three days now. <laughs> so I'll remove it then. Okay, thank you. So these are going to be really soaked in urine. They're yeah, going to have some good spell. What does the ethereal spider spindle do anyways? You don't know. It'd be good for traps. It's a thing that spider uses to make thread or webbing, isn't it? That was in character. He was actually asking that. He's put putting it in his pack. He's like, what does this thing do? That my response was in character. It's the thing that creates that the spider uses to create webbing, isn't it? Yeah, I think I know. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, up by Claudette.
Okay, so what are we doing? We're you're we're you're you're doing for eight hours, so we had to do our uh, our watches for you and rest. It. Okay. So I started. I I hit perception because he told me to hit perception. That's about as far as we've got so far. That's because you went off on a tangent about other working stuff. <laughs> World moment, sorry. I hate to bother you, Sky, but is there a weight on those scales? Not that I want there to be one. There's always a weight with everything. Do you know how expensive it is to make poisons? <laughs> it's more along lines of buying poisons, I believe, but... It takes five gold pieces per day to make them. At least in the thing that I'm reading. Yeah, there's a lot of weird crap in Raw. And is that eight hours? Did he do both of the dragons? Yes. She and nowhere. Okay, I need to find chapter 8 of the player's handbook. I am just going along with you guys, so once we start, I'll stop. We will go with 5 pounds per scale. Oh! There's some pretty big scales. It is a pretty large dragon. And the thing I'm reading tells me 30 pounds, so I'm just like, yeah, no, we're not doing that shit. Screw that. They sound cute. Oh, my nephews? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well. Cute can be very deceptive. Alright. Um, Illican, uh, you hear um, some pounding of flesh um, off somewhere more distant in the cave system and some cutting but uh, like like slicing like um, you know like a swish of a, of a of a sword on on flesh kind of thing something like that um, not anything that sounds like f fighting but yeah somewhere further in the cave you hear that and other than that it's a quiet two hours okay i'll i'll tap arden to wake up tell him what is, i heard is he sleeping no he was resting so i didn't know what he would do okay. so, you know it's like I yeah i was thinking i don't have to rest for four hours 
I'm going to say, it, it's, it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, well, I tapped well, him, let him know what I heard, and then, uh, which way do I hear those coming from? Up here? Deeper in the caves. Okay. okay. And I point somewhere deeper in the caves, uh, the noise, you may be able to still hear it. You listen, I'm going to rest for mine and uh, recoup everything I've got along. You know, pray to my goddess and see what you'll give me. <clears throat> then I go back and pray over the dead dragons. And I'll wake up and stretch and check to see how everybody's doing. Give me a perception check. Yeah, you hear those same sounds coming from deeper in the um, in the caves. But mm. uh, other than that, your watch goes by without hitch. Hey, well, when my Time's up. I'll go around and wake everybody up if they're sleeping. Uh, we still got another two hours. Yep, we still got another two hours. Oh, okay. You You're looking good me. too, and Arden, and then you did four. Yep. Oh, so I gotta wake somebody else up. <clears throat> yep. All right. Wake me up if you want to. I'll go and sh sh tap Claudette on the on her feet. All right. I guess I need to take a watch, huh? Yeah. And it's been really quiet except for some noise deeper in the cave. Hmm. Sounds like fun. Yeah. <laughs> so. Alrighty. And I'll go back over by the wall and get back into a trance. Sure. Claude it. Perception. Okay, and I still see um, them working on the scales, correct? Uh, yes, they're down there working, working on getting dislodging these scales and Brushing off some of the flesh. I'm going to point out that, you know, people are hearing sounds down yonder. You might even want to take a rest. But I will go and look at stuff and pull out my poisons and go, okay, I know I know what to do, so let's just go ahead and let's make one of these snake poison thingies. <laughs> snake poison? Do you have snake poison? I believe I do. Hold on. I love my job. Well, now we know I what it sounds like when she's venom. lying. I have wolf spider venom and phase spider venom. Okay. I'm thinking I probably need to put them into a amulet so that later I can apply them to weapons so that I can add damage to creatures. A vile, but yes. Yes, vials. Are 
All right, so uh, you're using the two hours to um, work on the poisons? Well, just contemplate them. Not necessarily work on them, because that would take too much attention away from paying attention. That made a lot of sense. It did. Very much. I'm glad y'all are getting this. Um, <laughs> so you're not working on them? Just debating how I'm going to do them. Because I realize i got to pay attention to what's going on. And if I don't pay attention to what's going on, then we're all going to die. Okay. Um, so that means I can work on it later. Cool. Um, all right, then yes. With the 13, you hear the same sounds that everybody else has mentioned further down in the cave. I shouldn't say down. I should say further in the cave. System <clears throat> stuff. And your watch goes without a hitch. All right. I'll go wake up the other two and look at Celestine and just kind of shake my head and go, I hope we don't get into another fight. Uh, does that mean I get a full rest? Uh, yes, the three of you get full rest. And I'll give a short rest to uh, Celestine and Nowhere. And it's now sitting at about 6 p.m. I don't know if anybody added the five extra hit points. No, he should still have it. At the beginning of the fight, there's three of them. I, know I, do. I don't know who else had it. Who gave it to... I was one of them. I remember that much. He gave what? I think he gave it to everyone. The additional five hit points. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. are you doing are you doing that again then? No, because this lasts for eight hours, so we still have it for the rest of the day. Or okay, it just went away. Well you just you just took a long rest, so you just, just went, went past eight hours. No, I'll save it until we actually need it. Until you know right before hey, we're getting ready, I'll cast it then. And if it's one of those where I have to cast it in the middle of the fight, I will. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Yeah, that's what your character is saying, all right. Follow Claudette. I point to the top and see if Claudette's checked those areas over there. Uh, as you get up to there, um, there are two alcoves set in the north wall that are fitted with rust, uh, rusty iron gates. Their chains, padlocks, and keys lie discarded on the floor outside them. Um, and inside each cell are fragments of the shell of a bluish-white egg. This looks about as large as a halfling. Oh, would I recognize it as dragon eggs? You would. They've obviously hatched, though, correct? Give me an insight check. And and yes, they have, but give me an insight check. Which one? Yeah, whoever wants to, I don't care. Uh, 
Illican, you could easily surmise that these were probably the same eggs that hatched a while ago. The dragons that y'all just killed. Uh, can I inspect the area to see if anything was left over? There's nothing. It is quite literally, there are chains, padlocks, and keys lying okay. on the floor. Okay. Uh, can I pick up the keys? Just the keys, mm. I don't care about the rest of it. Sure. They were perhaps an early warning system. You tell me to pick it all up? You made the comment, so I'm asking. I'm thinking that the dragons might have been an early warning system for something else. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind that. How did you get that out of what she said? Uh, she's... She's a bounty hunter slash rogue... They make traps and alarms. So chains round our campsite makes noise. Okay. I don't want to fix these things. Sometimes it amuses me how your mind works. Okay, can somebody get me off the rock for some reason? I chained myself to it. So when everybody catches up to me, I'm going to ask them which way they want to go. I'm going to point to the right, I'm going to point to the left, and I'm going to point straight ahead, and then I'm going to shrug and go which way. Well, I'm going to sit and listen to see if we hear anything. Give me a perception check. <laughs> I hear nothing. Matter me. Claudette seems really loud to you right now. I sure don't matter. Claudette seems really loud to Claudette right now. And noises are echoing off the walls, but you can't really tell where they're coming from. Okay, never mind. Could it be fair to say that I'm following the scent of my nose? Sure. I'm going to use my helm to telepathically tell Illican, I smell blood up ahead. I grip my weapons as I fall and show them to the others. Our, our Arden and Nowhere is before me, so I'm not worried about that. I still show them that I've gripped my weapons. I'm going to tell everybody to just kind of stay put because this all looks like fresh blood if I was going to be a doctor. Give me a stealth check, Claudette. Uh, Okay. 
All right. So, can I? What What am I looking at in here? Do I need to do a perception check or what? Um. The ice in this cave is stained pink and red with the blood of numerous kills. In the center of the room, beside a stone tray of butcher's tools, is the flayed husk of an owlbear's skeleton that has been skinned, gutted, and stripped of meat. Along one wall, metal hooks pierce the ice. A large man in blood-drenched hide armor is hanging carcasses from these hooks to what seems to be, like, bleed them out. Um, his face and limbs are blackened by frostbite, and he seems to be absent a nose. I'm going to telepathically. Say to Celestine, we got an ugly one up here. Another one missing their nose. I will attempt to whisper to relay that to nowhere. I, I look at Arden and I give him a hand gesture going, danger up ahead. I nod my head in understanding. Okay. And uh, get an arrow out, notch it to the bow. Seeing that he's uh, notching a bow, I uh, try to sneak. Uh, not in front of him, but to be prepared to charge. So, are the things he's putting on the hooks alive or dead? Uh, I didn't ask for any stealths yet. Oh, sorry. Um, the things on the hooks are carcasses that look like they're bleeding out, like preparations for food. Yes. Okay, okay. So, I want to know if there's more than one of them. I don't think there is. Give me another stealth check, Claudette. Uh, okay. So I'm going to gently walk back to my group. I'm going to telepathically say to Arden, let's go fight. Telepathically say to Illican, let's go fight. Telepathically say to Nowhere, let's go fight. And then Celestine, let's go fight. So I want to move up stealthily. Same for me. As Arden is get into there, give me a stealth check. Okay. Okay, I'm stuck again. Uh, 
by sneaking up on the guy I'm supposed to be attacking. As you get there, give me a stealth check. You're looking. And Drake. He turns around and looks at you. I don't know how to do uh, dexterity, right, for Drake? I know I've made it, but... He has, uh... Yes, he has seen both you and Drake. Looks like he is looking right past Claudette for some reason. Then I would charge once he, he turns around. Okay, roll initiative. If Claudette and Arden want to get a sneak... Uh, around and they can. Wouldn't mind. So I can go ahead and move. Uh, yes. All right, and I can do my attack. Yes. Um, all right, let's see here. 21 will hit. Do I get my offhand with that? Sure. And when she hits Drake, would it fuse her strike? We're not in initiative yet. I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I'm just giving Claudette and Arden a sneak round. Uh, okay, because so they wouldn't get a reaction during that? No. Okay. Um, a 13 just barely hits. All right, and that's the end of my stink turn. And Arden, do you want to go? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to attack him with the bow. If it don't agree with me today. There we go. And a 13. Yes. 13 will hit. Or actually, 22 will hit because you're currently hidden um are you marking this guy as your second or actually i guess your first favorite foe of the day yes uh, then for my second attack i use the bow again Nice. Really nice. Silvery barbs. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. You can give advantage to my guy. <laughs> If I turned against you. Evil, evil druid uh, coming out. <laughs> well, he is going on half sleep, so you know he might mistake. <laughs> I was joking about that, by the way. I don't actually cast it. That was that a character. Aww. Sorry, Mr. I don't know what you are. <laughs> 
Hmm, Shardling Berserker. And I'll move over here just a little bit and let the on my sneak turn. Okay. Alright, Solston, you are up. Okay, um... Let's look, this guy, I, I guess you can't see him, but... For everybody that can see him, he looks, he looks pretty bad hurt. Badly hurt. I'll move there. And... I'll just fire my long will at him. Ouch. And that's it for me. Strike. Uh, no, you're up. All right. I'm gonna move. He looks like he is barely hanging on. Okay. I'm gonna move over here where I can see him. over you, at you and just laughs. Well, then I guess I'll shoot him again. That'll hit. Another arrow stuck in him and he's just smiling like... It's a great day to be alive. This guy isn't all here. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's missing his nose. Yeah. Either that or he knows something we don't. I could be too. Or he Nevertheless. Knows something we don't. Yeah. Well, that's the end of my turn. Alright, Clyde, you're up. Okie dokie. For the record, I do not have sneak attack checked, just letting you know. Okay. Uh, nine will not hit. A fourteen well. Okay, okay. Doesn't seem to do any damage at all. He just kind of looks at you and keeps smiling. And and you saw you saw the dagger, scimitar scimitar, go in and come out. He didn't grimace in pain or nothing. He just he's smiling at you. Doki. <laughs> I'm going to just stay right here then. And that'll be the end of my turn. I'm going to look at the rest of the group and go, huh. Pardon, you're up. I'm engaged with bow and I'm thinking fire. So the arrow will be a flame arrow. Mm. 
and 17 will hit. There's another arrow sticking out of out from him. He's looking like a pincushion and seems to be having the time of his life. Even though that that arrow's like burning. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's on crystal meth or uh, <laughs> that's a, the, gets the other one. Cocaine. <laughs> The, the 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 arrow of fire shoots at him, sizzles out and 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 pierces his I don't know thigh. Hell, hot and on fire with my bow again. Metal hit. And this one sizzles out and pierces his arm. <sighs> I'll end my turn. Ilkin. Hulk smash. Came out too many on the uh, for uh... a little too used to the fighter. <laughs> um, the first one misses, second one hits, third one hits. Yes, on the favorite foe. Okay. War pick to the I'm guessing side of the head. Pokes in, comes out, no blood. Um, other thing to somewhere else. Doesn't seem to be... Nothing you are doing seems to be doing much. That'll hit. He just kind of like wiggles his toe, wiggles his toe inside its mouth or whatever, or wiggles his thigh. That's all I got. I need to take five levels in fighter or something so I can get extra attacks. It's a terrible reason to take levels in fighter, but or any class. But not the point. I look down at the Drake that's attached to his hip and smack it. Um yeah, good good call. Um, doesn't seem to do much, but good call. Um, he will smack the Drake, then he will smack Illican, and then he will smack Claudette. Twenty four against the Drake, twenty against Illican. And 21 against what? Yes, 21 hits. I know it's a yes, but I don't even know what my armor. If you click on your token, your AC's in the blue. Uh, it wasn't. It's empty. That's why I said I had to look it up. I just put it in. I just put it in. But yeah, no, it hit me, and it hit my other character. Eleven against Drake, and I need a DC thirteen con. Ten 
on Elkin and Con and eleven on Claudette and Con. less at the moment, why that? But uh, 13 makes it. And a 23 makes it. And I don't have bless. Bless. Okay, I don't have less checked. I had checked it at the end of the last round, so I don't know why Sneak is popping up or Bless. There's, there's two Bless boxes. One for saving throws and one for attacks, I think. Oh, okay. Got it. Found it. Unchecked it. But I still don't know why Sneak is popping up there. Because Elikin's right next to... No, it was popping up earlier, too. Are you using Stone's Endurance? Yeah. Alright, roll a d12. Alright, so you take six points of bludgeoning damage instead. I don't see why it's showing up either, Claudette. Sorry. All I could say is roll 20's been acting quirky recently. Okay. Make sure I remove that from my use. As he looks at it, he thinks that was a crappy roll. And if all three of you want to uh, make a tax of opportunity, you can. Uh, I cannot, and uh, Drake cannot. Yeah, true. Alright, so if Claudette wants to make it, she can try it. Rapier goes in, Rapier comes out, and he keeps walking. Oh, with that, we're at REM break, and we're late for break, and I need a piece, so. No, thank you, that's what I need, too. I was just like, did Weird Puffs already take that? Right. Yeah, I totally spaced it. I'm like, why do I need to pee? I'm like, oh yeah, because I passed the two hour. Um, so let's take 15 and be back in 15.
I'm back.
I have returned. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah. Mercy buckets. Who just left us? Probably like Kenny. Yeah, looks like Kenny. Hmm. I'm just hurting. Maybe Shim came back to knock on the door again. Is that a new pronoun, Shim? <laughs> yep. Isn't it she he? It's a shim. Okay. Never mind. I'm back. We're just waiting on Kenny to come back now. Okay, well, I got uh, a very small helper here, so I don't know how that's going to go. I don't know how much help he's going to be. How old is he? Like 
four months. No, five months. Five months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Find the keyboard for you. No, we'll keep him away from the keyboard. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, he. He what? I said, actually, he wants a bottle, but we got to wait on Grandma to get it. And he's not a very patient soul. But maybe somewhere along the way, he'll learn. Like usual, we're waiting on Kenny. Yeah. What? Game score completely. Try to reset the whole computer. Okay. So, anyway, I think we're all back, Sky. Yes, <sighs> back, back, go, go! Wow, alright. So, Austin, you're up. Apparently, you're not the only voice maker, Sky. Oh darn! Sounds like my uh, my duties aren't going to always be required on the beginning. Somebody Bullshit. else can step in. <laughs> First thing Celestine is going to do is cast Detect Magic. As a, well, Detect Magic. Um, and then try to look around and see if I can figure out why this guy is not taking, or isn't dead basically because he's taking plenty of damage and he's just shrugging it off do I see any enchanted anything nearby is he wearing anything enchanted nope you don't see anything Okay, um... Five, ten... Five, ten... Fifteen... Twenty... Twenty-five... No, twenty-five... Thirty... Do I see anything at this point? Nope. Uh, you can see into the next area, so... But is there anything magical? Is... Nope. Okay. Um... I mean, there's lots of things magical, but... It's on you and her and him and... But nothing affecting and... the enemy. Nope. I mean, his... Flail and his, the, just the normal shit that you've seen before. Um. Okay, then I will use my bonus action to cast Lily. And that's all I got. I'll just kind of look around at the others and just shrug my arms in confusion. Or shrug my shoulders in confusion. Nowhere. You're up. Alright. 
That doesn't look promising so far. Uh. <coughs> I'm gonna fire longbow of warning, but I'm gonna use a plus one arrow. Okay. Um. A fourteen will hit. Give yourself back that arrow and take the uh, plus one out. Um, and it doesn't seem to do much. I mean, it hit. It definitely hit. It's lodged in him, but. I'm mystified. Uh, Arden already used fire and that didn't do anything. I don't have any idea. And so I'm just gonna leave it to somebody else to figure it out. <laughs> Alright, about it. Okay, so I'm gonna take my action and I'm going to smear my offhand with you don't have the poison you just have i don't no you have poison sacks you need to make the poison i have three vials of basic poison okay you do have that then okay so i'm going to smear take my action to smear my offhand with one of the vials of basic poison. <laughs> and it's down to <laughs> Sorry, you're using your bonus action to smear poison. Hello? Is it No, right. it's using an action. Is that what it says? Yes. It's supposed to be a bonus action, sorry. Okay, then I'm using my bonus action to do that. And then I'm going to use my offhand. I, I, I smeared it on my offhand, so I'm going to use my offhand. Well, your your offhand is a bonus attack to your main attack, so <laughs> just you you put it on your main one. That's fine. Okay. We're at con that portion. It doesn't matter. I miss. <laughs> Well, bam. All that anticipation for me to hit at the air. With that said, um, it is still coded, so you're fine. Okay. That was, um, did, yeah, nowhere already went. Okay. That's all I could do. Alright, the handout's fixed. Um, right. uh, Arden, you're up. Oh, well. Let's see. I'm gonna attack with the bow again. Oh. Mm. 
And I assume that hit. That most definitely hit in its throat. There you go. Has he at least quit laughing? <laughs> Looks like he's still laughing. It's coming out more like a gurgle, but... <laughs> A walk in he thinks it's he thinks it's absolutely funny that you did that. <laughs> well, since he's, I'm gonna make him happier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot him again. <laughs> That'll also hit. Yeah, and that ends my turn. All right. Hulk, then you're up. Uh, can I move here? Sure. Need to take how much? Drake? How much for the poison for Drake? Um, it's uh disadvantage on attacks. Thirteen, nineteen, and seventeen hit. And a fourteen hits. I mean, he's starting to look disgusting. No, scratch that. He's been looking disgusting for a while. But, um... He's looking pretty damn battered. And yet it doesn't seem to phase him. Anything else? off for the timing. It will. He will. Same thing. He will go Claudette Drake Illican this time. No and no. Not this time. Right. Uh, if any of you guys got a reactions that can use for a I hit, do. you can. That hits. Don't forget to add your poison damage, Claudette. Uh, and isn't Thank he poison? Uh, sorry. Uh, thirteen hits, yes. And isn't he poisoned from before already? No, he didn't hit. No, I'm talking about uh, Claudette's offhand from two before. Or is it is only one round? <laughs> um, I mean she can roll it, but the last time she rolled it, it didn't seem to do anything. Damage does the big stick poison do? 1d4? Uh, 1d4, yep. And you can go and roll it twice for your necromantic sword.
Okay, what is the chance of rolling a nat one twice? Bo. Well, in that case, a nat one is only a 25% chance. Oh yeah, I should have known that one. Damn. Fuck math. Um... So 25%. But the chances twice would be... Oh. 13? 12, 12 and a half? I don't know. Or does it change because... Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure it changes because those are two s distinct instances. I think you each one is 25%. On each, but in a row, yeah, that would be different. Of rolling two in a row is, is lower than twenty-five percent. Okay, I never was good at statistics. If I, I'm, what I'm remembering could be completely wrong, but I vaguely want to say two point five percent. That could be completely wrong. So. Alright, so stay, it's your turn. <clears throat> what are the walls of this stone or of this this cave made of? Is it ice or stone? Sure. Um I would say stone, probably. It's inside a mountain. Okay. Um. So I'll tell you what I want to do. You tell me what I need to roll to do it. Uh, I want to charge him, run him through with my spear, and pin him to the wall behind him. I want to basically try to, to hold him against the wall with my spear. If you succeed on an attack roll with over five, I will say that happens. So, 18 to hit. Right. Your spear is in his gut, and you are against the wall with him. Okay. And I will shout out Cut his head off! Mm. That's what I got. Okay, uh I'm gonna step up here. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's him right there, right? Yep. All right. And I'm going to. I'm going to attack him with a scimitar and try to cut his neck. That will hit. We cut his head off? It's starting to. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, I still have an offhand, right? Yep. Okay. Will that hit? That'll hit. You definitely got a little further in. Okay. That's as far as I can go. Oh, wait a minute. I... Wait. You still got another main hand attack. That's true, I do. Yep. <laughs> and that'll hit. And we'll say that hit his head rolls down to your ankles. Uh -huh. All right. But the, and he's it, still laughing at you. I was going to say, the, the important question is, is he still laughing? His eyes are still blinking. He's still alive? And his uh, body hasn't gone limp yet. I'm just going to give Nowhere a kind of a stunned look. Like, what the hell are we... Are we dealing with here? I don't know. I don't believe he could travel very well to follow us, so let's get out of here. So I kick his head aside <laughs> and start. One, two, three. I, know, I can't. I can't do that much. How is it that Illican was right under me? I didn't intend for that to happen. I'm not under anybody, so... Look, it's up here. Did you attack them from right there? Okay. Alright, well, I, I don't have enough movement left to get out of here, so... Question. Yeah, you know, what's that red circle down here? The head that you just kicked. Oh, okay. When we, uh, passed that the caged area were the because I did and you said we did a throw check of it was it still usable probably not looks okay. like it's been years since it has been in use I don't know if am I allowed to say anything else guy in character no I don't know. Okay. Uh, um, I'll say something along the lines of, um, we saw a board crossing a chasm to the west of us. Maybe we just push him down there. It's my turn to respond. Well, that was why I asked if I could say something, because it wasn't my turn. Okay. Right, so, that's fine. Alright, Claudette. What do you guys think the chances were that he was going to get help? Um, kind of, kind of going the wrong direction for that. I'm thinking if there were help in here for him to get the sound of the combat with the Drake's and with him probably would have pulled it or would have alarmed them already, unless they're really, really heavy sleepers.
I could be wrong. I'm gonna come up here and what do I see in this cave? Shallow trenches carved into the stone floor are filled with snowpack. When you're far, too far to see anything else. Clean hunches of meat are nestled in these trenches. Still in combat. Yep. Oh, well, then that's as far as I can move, and that's the end of my turn. Alright, Arden, here. <sighs> He looks like he's the butcher, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'll move to here. And I'm gonna attack him. With my sh short sword. That'll hit. And I'm aiming at his legs. I'll cut his legs off is what I'm trying to do. Okay. There's definitely some gaping flesh. And I'm hitting him with my short off hand. That'll hit. And you got the other side of the leg. And then I'm going to use my secondary attack and hit him again with the short sword. Alright. And you broke through bone. <laughs> and he is missing one leg. That's all I can do. Look in Europe. He's still not dead though, right? <laughs> his body has not become limp yet. I look to see if his body has any rings on it or medallions. From what I can see. Just the amulet around his neck that you know resembles the other amulets that you've seen in other people like this. Oh, actually, yes. It's probably sitting by his feet at the moment. There's nothing abnormally magical about him. Well, I, 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 there, there are no rings or anything other than the Chardeline weapons and amulet that we've seen before. Okay, 
I walk over and get the. I don't know. If, you know would that would that would that a uh, attack of opportunity at this time? It's a possibility. It? Okay, I'm gonna cut off his other arm or try to. His arms. Uh, 22 and a 16 hit. It's definitely broken. Um, it's not cut off completely yet. I asked somebody to pick up the head to see if the head will attach, reattach. It's a science project. <laughs> Or starts to reform. Why not just dig out his heart? You can do that on your next turn. Anything else, Alkin? No, I can't do anything else. I'm, I'm done. All right, with its other hand, it will. Uh... Attack Celestine Illican in nowhere. At disadvantage because it can't see you. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh well. My fault. 15 on Celestine, 7 on Illican, and 8 on nowhere. Sorry, 6 on Celestine. So at least it's disadvantage. So, you guys see none of those hit. Nope. No. Um. Celestine, give me an athletics check. Let's see if you can hold it pinned still. He stays there. So, Sting, you're up. Can I attempt to um, maneuver him over to this bridge that I saw to the west? You can. Uh... Attempt to uh, maneuver him. Maybe ask Noor for help since he's next in turn order. Sure. I'll help if I can. Okay. How do you want me to do that? Um. If both you and Nowhere want to give me athletics checks as you're dragging him, um, at half speed, but if you're not taking any other actions, you could go double action. Or double, da double, yeah, dash action, yeah. Action. Ouch! Double movement. Yeah, that one. Maybe not with that. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also. 19, 19, a 19 will uh, beat his strength. Okay. So, half movement. Five, ten, fifteen, see, and then double move, uh, thirty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah. 
and I'll shout back. Grab his leg, arm, and head. Let's dump him in this 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 chasm over here. Hole, whatever it is. Clutter. Okay. I'm gonna shout to hold hold off on on getting his head. I'm going to use my action to dash. And I want to inspect the head. Alright. Um I mean an investigation roll. Looks like a head. I wanna look at its incisors and see if there's any abnormalities. Nope. Not that you can tell. It's acting like an undead. Pick up its head. By the hair. Bite the hair? By the hair. Oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> what the hell are you doing biting the hair? It's yummy. <clears throat> Is there blood? Yep. Is the head still active? Yep. It is glaring at you. So we're gonna carry the head to here. And that will be the end of my turn. Arden, your turn. I pick up the arms and legs. Still got its arm, but you can pick up its leg. Okay, I pick up his leg. That's right. I forgot the leg or the arm is only broken. And I'll move over here to the pit. You can action dash if you want. Just you don't have a, uh, if you're not doing anything else. Okay, uh, trying to figure out where to go from here. <laughs> That's a wall. That's a wall. I will point around the corner. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I think this is... That's as far as I can go. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Looking. He, 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 he's going to investigate the uh, place we're in. In this gate, this area? Yeah. See if there's anything that could possibly explain the strangeness. Alright, give me an investigation roll. There's nothing out of the ordinary. There's three carcasses on hooks on the wall over here. It's a dead uh, Alber skeleton over here. And a couple of butcher knives and stuff on the table over here. That's about it. Okay. That was my turn. Because I had been walking around. So I assume I okay. 
it will attack Celestine nowhere Celestine Thirteen, six, fifteen. No panel. At least I'm assuming a six doesn't hit nowhere. I I, I could be wrong. No, it doesn't. And it will try and run again, so the two of you that are holding him want to give me a strength, or sorry, an athletics check. <laughs> Six, never mind. Yeah. And he goes nowhere. No, I'm Does, nowhere. Doesn't, doesn't go anywhere. Like, <laughs> knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I had a character who named his, his, or a player who named his character Nobody. It was even worse. Nobody's turn. Who's next? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody does this. Nobody does that. Yeah, it, it got old real quick. Alright, I'm guessing you guys are both moving on your turn. Consecutive, consecutively. I will certainly try. Yes. Yes, indeed. Alright, both of you give me more athletics tricks. A got a 13. We got a 12. We got a 23. 21, rather. One. Eh. Yep, easily. Okay, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. Let's instead of going to the twenty five, just go to the twenty and spend that extra movement turning him swiveling him around. Okay. And try to push him off into the, the pit. I'm gonna really piss if I find out that there's some quest item that he's carrying that we did don't get because <laughs> I shoved him into a pit. Um Let's say that it, with the with the double movement, use your action to move. So, yeah. Somebody okay. else wanted to uh, come up and shove him. That might be soon. Uh, they could do that with their action. Oh, well, Arden's right there. Maybe he'll be nice enough to shove him off my spear. <laughs> okay, that's it for me. Quite up. Carrying the head. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Use my action to dash. 5, 10, 15, 20. Jump on the little thing here. And we'll try to inspect the head one last time. Trying to figure out if it's a vampire. Looks like just a normal berserker that you've seen before. Okay. Throw its head in the pit. Is your action a dash or your bonus action a dash? Bonus action with a dash. Okay, then you can throw your throw the head. Which direction you throw in the head? Uh, can I grab its arm and pull it as I throw the head this way? Um. Well, you're holding a head, so. I have one free arm. 
I would say you can throw the head. Okay, throw the head. You're throwing... Yeah, that's you. You're throwing it this way? Yep. Okay. We're totally gonna regret this, aren't we? I don't know. This guy is being too... <laughs> I'm gonna step back, knowing that you guys are trying to throw him over the edge. And that's the end of my turn. Our new turn. Okay, I'm gonna move over here. I wanna throw it. That just helped me a bit. Me a strength check to try and push. Get off of Celestine's spear versus. Are are you trying to to push him off? Or are you trying to throw the leg? Sorry, this guy. Well, I can do oh. both, can I? Um, let me give you an action to do one or the other. Well, let me get rid of the leg. That makes okay. sense. Uh, which direction are you throwing at? Well, you threw the head over here, right? Yeah, the head is that red, I guess. Okay, right. is there the gorge over here? There is. Okay, and I'll throw the leg over there. What do I need to throw? Eh, you did it. Okay. <laughs> That was my action. I don't have anything else I can do, so. Right. Ilkin, your turn. I'm going to come since I checked this area. I'm going to come. Not in a fight or anything? What's that? Since I'm not in a fight, I'm doing my action, or you know, dash, or whatever you call it. Okay, I join them. <coughs> I'm assuming I get there right when. Uh, Arden through the last leg. Yep. Hey, you got there and saw the leg flying through the air. They ask. Let's keep exploring because. This looks like a good place to find out about the frost meat. That would be the end of my turn. It is going to once again try and lash out. Nowhere, Celestine. Nowhere. Six, fourteen, sixteen. Didn't hit me. Oh, sixteen hit nowhere. Yes, it does. Oh, for six, <laughs> for six bludgeoning. 
And uh, give me a constitution save. And it will just stay there because it's just not use. No, not any use to try and move up. Um, all right. South Steen and Nowhere, I'm guessing you're pushing. Yes. Yep. Hold tight to your spear. Definitely. For in fact, I will yank my spear out and then kick him to shove him over the side. Oh, there are so many good comments for that one. Does he grab the leg? He looks like he's trying to grab around, but he is blind. it's not happening very easily. Okay, so I guess Claudette looked around to the north up in here. Um, where you're at right where you're at right now um, is 10 foot high frost strained chamber lies be beyond a 10 foot deep fissure uh, frost coven frost coven wow frost covered wooden plank spans the gap in the more trafficked tunnel that leads to this area four sleeping pallets covered in furs lie on the floor near the northwest wall a wooden pail is used as a chamber pot, and it is currently empty. Well, that's a blessing, at least. Can I look at these furs? Have they been properly taken care of? Or are they crap? Uh, they look like they've been sleeped in recently. Okay, so were they properly tanned and cured? They look like sleeping bags. Okay. I will take that as a no. Or that I'm not that I'm not interested. Um Okay. I guess Claudette and Illican can do their searching around in here if they are interested. I'll look into it just so I can see what's going on, but... Searching the sleeping bags and looking for any anything of value. You find nothing of value. Okay, well, let's go search in this southern room. Okay, can you move me back to where they are? It's one thing I don't like about World 20. The lock shop. It doesn't. Uh, you're taking two icons, so when you hit hit something where one of them locks it, then one of them. Well, no, that's what I'm talking about. It, it it instead of saying no, you can't do that. It'll lock them on the wall to where 
if you're having one, I've had one character get locked. So. Well, one of them gets behind, one of them gets behind the dynamic lighting and then can't be moved. That's what the issue is. So if you stay away from the walls, you should be good. Question though. Was this a stairwell or something? Was this a stairwell or a ramp? Nope. Okay. What am I seeing? That's what I'm wondering. Um, as you walk in, um, hundreds of ice. Well, no, never mind. You haven't walked in yet. You're seeing something blue, a blue flame. I will walk in with her. Alright. As you walk in, hundreds of icicles cling to the 12-foot-high ceiling of this frost-rhymed chamber, which is bathed in flickering blue light. The light source is a blue flame crackling in a stone brazier that stands against the far wall. The white smoke that rises above it coalesces every few seconds into the form of a woman. But the image is fleeting. I can tell she's a woman. She's got nice tits. Celestine, you feel a powerful aura of abjuration magic around the three foot high stone brazier, which rises naturally from the floor and is therefore not a discreet object. So in other words, it's not something I can just pick up. No. Abjuration magic, huh? <clears throat> when the woman appears, can I try to say something to her? Or, or does she disappear too quickly? She disappears too quickly. It's just kind of like a image of smoke. Okay. Illican, get in here. <laughs> please. Actually, I probably wouldn't have said please. <laughs> Do you think your little blood gym thingy will work on this. As you get there. Shit. I'm, I'm in the corner. I just didn't want to get locked up on the wall. So. Yeah. Uh, you take 15 points of cold damage. Fifteen points? Do I take that too? Uh, not you. Just him. He's actually right here. He's just afraid that if he moves... So he's in, he's within touch his, his. Char his character, he's gonna get locked up. <laughs> because he's got Drake. <laughs> okay, so he's within touch range of it. Correct. I had to be to use my... Okay, do I touch it with the stone at the same time? I get hit. I don't know, do you? But I don't know when I get burnt. Do I get burnt walking into it, or do I get burnt when I touch it? If I get burnt when I touched it, then yes, you got... then my, the stone, I identify it at the same time I get burnt. Okay. You got burnt as you came in, came within direct contact with the fire. Okay, then my, uh, I have identified it at the same time. Okay. Um. Gives a dirty look to a. <laughs> I will take a. Um, bead off my necklace. Clap him on the back and say. Um. 
Oh, don't give me that look. Does he get burnt because he's touching me in the current, you know? She? He get burnt. <laughs> and he says he again. <laughs> Is it she? <laughs> um. You take nine healing? Okay. Yeah. You don't sense anything off of this, off of this brazier. There's nothing to identify. No. Nothing here. Okay. Can I use um? Uh, wait, do I actually have control water? Okay, I want to use, um, shape water, if you'll let me, to, um, Drop a whole bunch of the, the icicles on the ceiling into this brazier. I want to try to put it out the flame. They fall in one after another, and then a bunch all at once. It doesn't seem to affect this uh, blue flame. Well, any ideas? Just a hunch, but I, I get the idea that whatever this is, is responsible for the lack of damage to, or lack of death to our shirtling friend. Just yeah, a hunch. Shouldn't you. get too close to it. I've backed up so I don't get burning. Uh, if we're done, I say let's collect the meat that was hanging up because it looked like it was edible meat, not, you know. Well, as long as we make sure it's. Bring it with us to sell it and, you know, eat and sell whatever we don't keep. And Claudette was over there talking about uh, cooking. If we can um, identify the kind of meat, sure. I'm not fond of the idea of um, eating something that I can't identify first. <laughs> We investigated this room to see if there's anything here. Uh, there's not. So, we're gonna finish investigating this cave system. I think that was the investigation. Yeah. Well, did, did somebody go up to the take this northern? Yes, uh, Claudette yeah, went up there and found. Went for me. Um, shallow trenches uh, that oh, were dug okay. into the stone and meat. It looked like uh, they were making a freezer out of the stone, basically. Packed oh. them with snow and put a bunch of meat in there. Okay, that's. And if we can figure out what that meat is, and from the skeleton down there, it looks like Albert. the the creature that uh, the two dragons that we just dealt with. So. 
so I don't know, is dragon meat edible? <laughs> so there's a lot of meat in here for us to cook up if we can... Yeah. If we want to spend some time doing it. I'm going to sure. say, do we, have to, do we have to heat it up or get it prepped completely? I don't know what, how we sell it to Dinstown. I say we just prep it as rations. Probably a good idea. Depending on how much it is, but okay. Yeah, let's go find out how much there is in there. And... Come on, you can carry a mountain, right? You're the one who keeps <laughs> saying you're willing to carry everything. Yeah, I, um, you guys are the ones that eat meat and everything. Me, I eat berries. So that's why I'm saying I don't need this much. I can sell this because 10 towns may need the meat since they got nothing else. I like how it goes from we can sell it to they may need it. That uh, we can sell it. He's being honest with his thought process. We can sell it. We could probably sell some of it, and we could probably also eat some of it. So. Oh yeah, I agree with that. Okay. Look at three three long things. Like that's a lot of meat. Okay, so how much meat's in here, Sky? Um, you find eighty pounds of meat. Um, polar bear, elk. It's definitely all safe to cook and eat. Okay, so no, no cannibalism, no yeti. That's not cannibalism. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Um, no, it does not look like. Well, I mean, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look like a yeti or anything. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna point out there was four sleeping bags. We only found one person who would be sleeping in it, so there's bound to be three people coming back at any given moment. Didn't we fight one on the way in? I don't think so. No, no we fought one, then we turned here. We became, we were transported here with this. And shows the ring. Oh, that's right. Um, I don't think the dragons were sleeping on the sleeping in the sleeping bags. Hope not. Are you worried we can't handle a couple more? No, but I think it would probably be ideal for us to be closer together. Okay, I can't argue with that. Okay, every, all, me and uh, Arden are looking at the, the 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 meat because that's what we were discussing looking at. Just find out how much we found. So okay, we want you to stop discussing it, pick it up, and start walking. Oh, you're all spread out? Sweet! <laughs> I don't think I'm uh, that much of an asshole. <laughs> I might be sometimes, someday. I don't know. Not right now. I can't see what my weight what I can carry. Weight wise. Your maximum should be um, 15 times your strength store. So 150 for you. Okay. So I can carry another 13 pounds. Just run on Illican. He can carry it all. I was just saying that if I can help carry it if he can't carry it. Okay, let's get it up there and give it to him so he can get going. Yeah, well, I can... I can carry him up. 30 pounds. Oh, his, his character can carry like 1,500 pounds. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fine. And you I'm not joking. Him. I'm not joking. You can literally carry like 1,500 pounds. We're going to. When it comes to worse, we have the disc. We have. We, well, we'll load him up and we'll get going. 
Oh, yeah, sounds good. So. While they're loading up the meat, can I take a bunch of small bones from this owlbear skeleton? Sure. Um, give me a survival check. Is there more meat in here because there was some on the hooks, or is that all together? Uh, the hooked meat is still bleeding out. Um, so if you're willing to stay and wait for it to get all prepped and stuff, then you could probably get some more. How long does that normally take? I know everybody's leaving, so I can't. But I'm like, how long does that normally take? I'll wait. You want to grab some more meat? You can leave a blood trail behind you. Well, if we wait for him to, to finish bleeding out. Um, which would be, for me, it would be very convenient if that took, like, an hour. Or two, even. Just saying. I'll wait. Okay. How many how many bones do you want? How many bones do you want? What? Um twenty? Just, just like the small ones, you know, the things you use for, like fasteners or, or studded okay. leather type thing. Or, yeah, you find them. Do these creatures have any teeth? Um, the dragons. Yeah. Sure. Can I retrieve them? Maybe. me a survival check. Okay. How long are you planning on doing this? Well, until the meat's ready to travel. You collect 20 young dragon tooth at five pounds apiece. Wow. Are you giving a uh, Ill Illican more to carry? Sounds like it. Yeah, I can only carry 13 pounds of it. So that would be two. Two. Yep. <laughs> At five pounds piece. Uh, five pounds piece. Yes. He chuckles. Weaklings. <laughs> Up yours. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> um. Ooh, wait a minute. That only gives me 147 pounds. <laughs> yeah, you got three pounds to spare. Yeah. Um. I finally reached 500 pounds. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so... After about... T 
two hours, two of the, uh, these two over here, uh, are ready to be taken. Um, the other one looks like it's still got a while. Uh, two is good for me. Looks over it. Is that good enough for you and what you needed? In the Albert? Oh, yeah. I, I, I was just waiting on you to do the, the meat. Okay, I'll take two of the three. How many more additional uh, pounds is that? 26 more pounds. Sorry, no, that's 26 each. Um, 52 pounds. Of more of meat. Okay. During that downtime, can I finish up a couple things with my leatherworking? Uh, so you've got about an hour. Okay. Um, I have the uh, belay carapace, carapaces, carapi, whatever. Whatever the plural of carapace is. Whatever. <laughs> um... I have those in the the vat. They have been in there for about three days now. And it said it only had to be 24 hours. So I would like to do step four, which only takes an hour. Okay. He grunts. Next up, Twin Towns. <laughs> uh, DC 14, uh, Leather Worker, check. Uh, you're good. Okay. Ready to go when you guys are. He grunts and starts walking. <clears throat> that actually puts us at six o'clock. Do you guys want to continue or? Hold on. I'm oh, sorry. Y'all leaving? Hmm? Are y'all walking or no? Yeah, we all yeah. leaving. Oh, yeah, I guess so. That's right, we did kill an owlbear out here. No, you didn't. All 
Alright, as you guys get there. Where you were. Ooh. As you get there, you see three des three berserkers uh, walking up the causeway. Uh, two of them carrying a dead periton. And that is where we will end tonight's session. That works. Okay. Gee. What is a periton? I don't know. Other than a bird. Apparently. Hmm. Pretty good sized bird. <laughs> Scary looking bird. Hey, if we take all the feathers off it, you guys will have lots of fletching to make your arrows. I don't yeah. think uh, he ever grabbed uh, wood for arrows. Well, just doesn't mean we can't take all the arrow or the feathers to have it okay. when he does have wood. I only have one thing to say. You can no longer say anything ever about Ilkin. I'm, I mean, not, not Ilkin, but Verheis. I'm just saying. Why? <laughs> Nowhere I have never carried almost this much stuff as Verheis. What are you saying? <laughs> The entire time we, I collect it, but I get rid of it. I collect. No, it. you don't. Yeah, but it was all small stuff, so I could get rid of the stuff that I didn't need, and I did. Ah. <sighs> it's safe, you know. No, see, the reason you didn't have any problems with Rurheis is because you had a freaking bag of holding. That game, you guys had three bags of holding. Just saying. Can't say anything about the rice. I disagree. <laughs> no? No. Hey. But see, you picked up all the crap. Like, rusted chains and all that stuff. The stuff I'm picking up is actually going to be used to, to craft stuff for the party. I would use whatever I had collected. I would find a use for it. You never did. Because I died before I could use all of it. But I did find mm -hmm. use for some of it. Mm-hmm. I disagree. You can, but no. <laughs> Okay, well, it's been an interesting session, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Undying creature. Yeah. I to face him, and I hope these guys don't have the same issue. Because if they do, this will be the one time he will say, run as fast as my legs can carry me. <laughs> Well, just chop them up like we did the other one. Good night, all. <laughs> Good, Good night. night. Good night, guys. Good night. Another point there, Illican. I'm actually a crafter in this one. In the Margrave game, you weren't even a crafter. You just picked up everything you could get your hands on. I mean, he was a crafter. This is almost he like just didn't this. pick up a lot of herbalism stuff after, you know... Agrius left. This yeah. almost just makes me want to wake up open. Wrong game, but you're welcome to. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. We play on Friday nights. No, that, Saturday, Saturday that nights. That one is the Pact of the Lich game. She'd have a lot of catching up to do, though. No, we're actually in a we're actually in a, a spot that you wouldn't really. 
Mm-mm, not really. We're actually in a spot where she wouldn't have no idea where we're at. We don't know where we're at, so it's okay. That's what I'm saying. It'd be one of those where I I went I went exploring and I came on upon this island and I've been here for this many days. You talking about Friday's game or Saturday's game? Saturday's, Saturday's game. game. Oh, okay. She is she is currently in a forest. <laughs> Somewhere days away from the master's house. Weeks. <laughs> okay, weeks away from the master's house. Um, unconscious. I only teleportation ran away from the ma- master's house. That's what she was when you left her. It didn't mean somebody, in, you know, and then she was trying to find out what was. You know, there's a good school line there. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, well. I love you, Dad. Good seeing you today. Yep. You all have a good night. Have a nice week. You too. You too. Good night, all. <laughs> you got it right. And honestly, for.